My name is John Rowlands. Uh, I was former head of biometrics at Ilri Nairobi. Uh, and since I retired nine years ago, I've been working on this biometrics and research methods teaching resource. Uh, I think the first seeds were sown uh, 14 years ago at a meeting of the International Biometric Society Susan meeting in Mombasa, Kenya, when the problem of lack of capacity in biometry and applied statistics within sub-Saharan was discussed. And it was appreciated then that lectures given to students were very theoretical. Uh, teachers and students had no textbooks or few textbooks. If they had textbooks, the, the examples were from uh, studies in Euro USA or, or Britain and therefore of little relevance to the work which was on Africa. So it was seen there was a need then for uh, a bi this biometrics and teaching resource um, that will contain examples and case studies for researchers, teachers and students, in, especially in agriculture in Sub-Saharan Africa. So since I retired, I've been active in working with ILRI to develop this teaching resource. It is comprised of six teaching guides which follow the pro research process of research strategy, study design, data management, exploration and description, statistical modeling and reporting, the typical activities in any research project. Accompanying these guides are 17 case studies drawn from across Africa. I must em emphasize this has been a team effort, not only with ILRI, but other partners, including University of Reading, who critically um, reviewed the teaching resources, and all the case studies have been developed by national scientists in different universities across Sub-Saharan Africa, in particular University of Nairobi, University of Swaziland, University of KwaZulu-Natal, the Is Islamic University of Uganda, and also national staff at ILRI. This is the second release of the teaching resource. The first release was in 2006, uh, the present release has extended a number of case studies and is a very much more polished version of the resource. Uh, the case studies now cover a wider variety of agricultural disciplines from animal science to crop science to agroforestry and meteorology.